TJ, Samantha, Carlita, Sasha, told a lie on you. Okay, these are what this these the names I was hearing and a message I heard. You are going to be redeemed off of energies that were karmic from your past. Something, something good is happening for you. So imagine when you were younger, someone told a lie on you. Break shoe, break front, something. And because of that lie that someone told on you, it attracted negative energies to you. For example, someone said, someone blamed you for something or someone said you stole something. All right. So because of that, a person may have started to not be interested in hanging out with you. They have these negative opinions about you. And maybe you couldn't defend yourself or maybe even if you defended yourself. Yes, yeah, so and maybe there was a situation where even when you defended yourself, the lie that was told on you still affect, affected your character with you, with other people, with this person's family now, with your own family, who knows. So these energies that affected you, it may have, so as you grew up, it was not cleaned up, the truth was not told, you didn't get your redemption, you didn't get your honor, all of these things. And so maybe it affected your schooling, it affected your education, it affected your confidence, it affected your money. So your progress was affected just because of a lie that someone told on you. Why did they lie on you like that? You know, or something that happened, whatever the situation is. Because of that, you're, it's like a time is coming around for change where you're ending these cycles. Your name is being cleared. The truth is revealed and spoken. The truth is out. The spell is over. Your freedom, your liberation, your redemption is here. It may have been years. It may have taken years. I'm telling you. But you see the amount of blessings that you're supposed to receive that are that is in store for you or that is coming for you in this season. Also be mindful that someone knows this. Someone has been watching over you. They know that you're supposed to have some breakthroughs. They know that the truth is coming out. Someone knows that you're supposed to be inheriting. And this could be a past energy too where someone knew that you were supposed to inherit something ahead of time. They knew and they wanted to block that from you because some changes were supposed to take place in your life for your betterment you are giving me meek and mild and humble but still very determined passionate about your life your blessings your inheritance and what you make for yourself your own destiny and what you leave behind so you've always been asking for more So you see the blessings that are coming for you are like no other. Your grace is restored abundantly. A lot of people will be happy with you for you. Let's take your first card. Your first card, nine of wands. So we have jealousy, envy, and obsession. You're also very beautiful. Your energy may be feeling like it's draining. Protect your energy. Six of cups. Something about your family. Something going on in your family. Someone is watching you. Alright. Maybe someone in your family that may be envious of you or jealous of you. Someone um wanted to block you. Someone is also you're you're someone is wondering something about you right now. I see you also loving yourself, healing yourself, you know, restoring your connection, restoring your love, spending time with you, nourishing you, taking care of you, your money is going up, your health, your wealth, your prosperity energies, you're being, and you're being looked at. The next card is your fortune. This is the ending of cycles and a breakthrough that is coming for you. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. So we have the lover's card next. This is amazing. You're overcoming trials and tribulations. You're on to new beginnings. I'm telling you, this is so beautiful. This is heavenly. This is galactic. This is powerful. Your angels, spirits, guides, they've always been 
working with you by you through you as you to ensure a correction takes place in your life something that went awry and this could even be with a love connection i'm telling you that is about to reunite but it has a lot to do with your money because this is your money reading yeah yes the nine the knight of diamonds is a lot of pentacles moving toward you you're about to have financial breakthroughs of your dreams nine of cups making you so happy and fulfilled you are so fulfilling and so happy and so worthy and deserving of this amazing amount of money that is moving into your life money confirmations good feelings good energies all right you've in you should be proud of yourself you've done some good investments you've made some heavy sacrifices you've aligned with some good people good places be proud of yourself so you're going to be developing more, investing more into your health, your beauty, your standards going forward. You will never be broke again. You will always be rich and worthy, sufficient, more than sufficient. You are. But you're getting some type of a confirmation of this, of a steady, stable source of income and well-being that is being that is coming toward you. And it may be coming by way of a love connection or like your spirit team. The magician. You're breaking free of karmic cycles and spells. And I have to mention a hidden enemy too. That you are overcoming. There was someone working against you behind the scenes. A karmic. They're going to be dispelled from your... They're removed from your life. So that you can have your flow this person someone or something was blocking your abundance you hear me you better believe that but they are being removed from your life whatever it is it's moved and so you can have your your abundant flow of supreme money well-being prosperity your inheritance your dreams coming through you're getting so much money you're going to be so rich like health wealth and growth in your own family your, your land your prosperity yeah you're getting your level up your peace your prosperity your dream coming true yeah it's gonna and it's making you really happy you're gonna see people with, around you with good energies so imagine if someone did not want you to have good energies or friends or a good social life that's changed it's like they're gonna see that like they didn't want people to love you or care for you or like you that's not the case you're gonna be working well with others you're getting everything that you want the devil card whoa something toxic i hear carmichael you have angels on your side this person wanted to like call up deities on you in some way shape or form right um like or or manipulate you or tell lies on you or try to work against you in some way you know but whatever you were working with was more powerful, which was love. So they were trying to put fear in you, but they didn't know that you were the master of fear. In some ways, I'm like, that's how I'm feeling like. They tried to put fear in you, but you ride fear. Fear is your dragon, and you've already... How to ride your dragon? You've already learned. Like, how to train your dragon? You've already trained your fear. You're like... They, they be like trying to conjure up fear conjure up these big demons or whatever you know it, like maybe to say if, to make people don't like you or to make you feel threatened to make you feel insecure okay and um you're like i already wrote that listen that's my i've already like trained that that's my pet <laughs> you're like that's my pet they spend so much time and energy conjuring up something that's your pet so when they see you, when they see you mount it and slay it and you're up in the air all flying around on it, they're like, wow, you're a magician. You are a magician. You're an alchemist because the devil card is the opposite of the lover's card. Okay. So you took that whatever they sent to you with your with their dark magic and you'll be riding up in the air and it's like like a like a phoenix 